good morning right now from Pokhara city it's a good 8 9 a.m. the Sun is rising it's getting a bit warmer and we're gonna go for hopefully getting the best view in all of Pokhara and usually I'm not the biggest fan of these like cable car rides but I have to tell you, when I look up the mountain and I see this platform and I see the mountains that you can see if you wake up a little bit earlier which you probably have seen in a previous video I've shown you the super amazing secluded hotels check it out if you haven't so right now we're gonna walk through the city at the hotel they told me there's a pickup there's a daily pickup pretty much from anywhere you can go to the cable car but I like to go myself for a nice little walk actually right here is uh, the lake so overall the way the city is set up right by the lake is actually quite beautiful some nice cafes i think i'll also have a full video about just the city yeah it's gonna be like a 30 40 minute walk and uh, yeah i've never seen this place before yet check it out i'm okay i'm okay thank you He's leading me the way, but also I'm leading myself to some kind of platform. God knows what it is. Probably they're gonna take me down from here any moment. <laughs> it's not a seating area, but nice little lookout spot. I love how peaceful the city is in the morning. It's already 9 a.m., but still it seems like everyone's sleeping for the most part. And this is what we're looking at. There's like a little wheel. Before I stayed somewhere all the way back there. In the mountains, there's some old people exercising. Always got to give the props. Reminds me a little bit of any communist nation, pretty much, where the morning workout regimen has been established. But yeah, it's going to be a 30 40 minute walk to the cable car. Today, I don't know what they usually time open. My guy from the hotel called in. They said they open at 10 a.m. But yeah, hello. Hello. See this up there? all over Nepal are having their colors kids are going to school pretty pretty awesome you get there. Fancy entrance. Honestly, I'm a bit uh, worried. There's a maintenance in progress sign, but they told me at 10 a.m. they open up, so let's hope my intelligence was correct. So already getting a sick view, things are starting out quite good. Let's see when they open up. Actually much more kind of fancy than expected. So usually 5 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Let's see. Okay, student, senior, citizen, specially abled person. I think we know what it means, but it sounds good. $12. What time do you open? Uh, it's uh, open now. Already running up? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one uh, both ways, please. One both ways? Mm -hmm. 1,600. Okay. Good. What do you think? Is good view uh, right now up there? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Alrighty, guys. So that is a ticket. So at first, $12 seemed a little bit steep for Nepal, but it's also like a different pricing for, uh, I think locals pay like a third or something, which I think is good overall. But so far also, it seems like a really solid place, almost like a freaking airport, maybe even better than Kathmandu airport. So I just read downstairs, 10 minutes to go up, speed of five, hmm, how tall is it? Do you know how high do we get here? Do you know how high the cable car go? How many meters? Uh, you know? Something to it. 1,200? 1,200? Only. 
12 mil, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. 12 mil, 12 mil, not sure, but we, I'm sure there will be signs. So here's a little bit the highlights of Pokhara on the wall. And yeah, let's see, mostly senior citizens right now, so I'm sure it will be a peaceful vibe. That is always the moments when I feel like I'm living the grandpa lifestyle when you're out and about in the morning by the lake with all the grandfathers. Whew. Damn, what a good day I chose. And also I chose pretty much to stay extra in Pokhara for one more day just to get up the mountain properly. Also, I got a bit sick. Uh, so yeah, extending this trip a little bit. Hopefully it is worth it. Let's see. Actually, a few friends of mine did it the ride. And they were not very happy with it. My guess is that it was bad weather conditions. And when I hear, ah, oh, no, it's not really worth it. It's not that great. I'm like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I think it was the weather, so hopefully. security guy already understood what I'm all about I think he did because he sat down the other people there there's literally one coming every 10 20 seconds and yeah fairly fairly excited there's a guy taking photos he didn't take a photo of me I think he's probably thinking I'm doing my own business which I guess he's not wrong so got the camera Ooh, another reason why I actually wasn't that excited. I really wanted to go up, but I usually don't like gondola rides. Sit in this cabin with a bunch of people, almost a bit claustrophobic. <laughs> you saw it. I'm like going in, a bunch of people running after me. I'm like, ah, no, let me out. <laughs> so, cool thing is, oh, yo, having windows, just put it down. Number one, number two, boom. All right. And wow, this is actually really good. So unexpectedly already I can say this is probably the best gondola ride in terms of the quality I've been on. It's large, you have very nice and clear windows. I think the last one I took was in Batumi, Georgia. Uh, and it's just, you know, when they get a little bit older, kind of like you don't see that much. Glasses get older. But this place, I don't know when they set it up. All right, enough talking. Let's see. And it's moving. We're moving. Woo! Hoo -hoo. <laughs> Yeah, that was actually a little bit of speed right there. So, we're going up. And, as you see, we're flying high. We're on the three, four hundred meter elevation and wow, 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 you're seeing all the layers of the mountains on the other side. I mean, let me, I would say, a risk to take you outside. Sometimes it gets a bit shaky. So here you're seeing all the, like, let's say the lower level of the mountains. Yep, this goes up pretty freaking high. So we're going to be crossing this mountain and I don't know how high we get moving forward from there, but already we're pretty much on a higher level than the backdrop of Pokhara. Whoo! So. <laughs> First of all, big fan of these windows. It's so peaceful up here, guys. Let me just turn the camera for you. That's what we're looking at. So basically, we went up another level here. This is the mountains you just saw. And we keep going up. I have no idea how high we're gonna go. But this is going pretty good places right now. 
Today we're passing by little villages, we're seeing goats, we're seeing buffaloes down there, everybody has their own cow, chickens. And so as you see, there's also roads, so theoretically as far as this you can also drive up. Wow guys, now it's starting to get impressive. So we're seeing the backdrop of the mountains, I think we're slowly arriving, I think I'm seeing the hut that I'm seeing on the top of the mountain. And yes, you're seeing the mountain range of some of the tallest mountains in the world. I think that's what this whole Nepal series so far has been about. Wow. And so, here we are. 10 minute ride, actually fairly relaxing. I don't like when it's like actually a little bit too fast. Let's go up and see the mountains. Look at that. Elevator. I don't see the stairs, so let's do that for now. We need a GoPro like this one. So when they're ready to face camp. They need a GoPro like this one. <laughs> so guys, here we are. Some music playing, some bubble tea installations. So obviously, as expected, a really developed place, but that's not what it's all about. Seriously, I don't think I've ever seen the mountains so clear. You're about to see it. Let's go in. So here's a little bit of a village hotel mountain garden. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's a hotel. So you can take the gondola and live here. Oh, well, that's quite something, actually. Coffee. Actually, I think they might have a platform here, so that's cool. So guys, that's what I call the cafe right here. So pretty much overlooking the mountains here. We see cloud is already moving in a little bit. Well, yeah, let's explore a little bit the area, then catch a tea. What a place to have breakfast. And considering also that many of these places are hotels, pretty cool. But I also think it probably gets really crowded throughout the day. I think we were one of the very few people, the uh, first people to go up today. Like you seen, they literally opened it up the moment I arrived. Don't know where we're going, but we're going. So here, rusty chairs in a little secluded corner of this viewpoint. I'm even already seeing how the place is filling up. So, my impressions, in good weather conditions is more than worth it. One of the best lookout spots I've ever been to, even though it's already getting slightly hazy, you're seeing like 10, 20 layers of mountain. The mountain range back there, which looks pretty tall if you're in Bokhara, looks like a dwarf from here, compared to obviously dimensions in Nepal generally. Just hit a bit different. Uh, I think somewhere back there we're seeing Annapurna, one of the 14 over 8,000 meter mountains and uh, yeah, especially this one with the peak. Probably my favorite one, there's always eagle gliding in the air. So I think I'm just gonna chill a little bit here, pop in my noise cancelling headphones because you hear the coffee brewing a little bit, play some peaceful music, enjoy myself a little bit and then have a tea. Wow, I'm very happy that I came out in the morning. Truly a special experience, truly worth it, I would say. Which I really wasn't sure about when I was heading up here. Whew. If you have to do it right, like so many things, especially tourist related. Uh, I don't do that much of that stuff when I'm traveling. Usually kind of like trying to stay off these paths, but it's a very easy way and a nice walk actually even here. You can make the tea hotter again, you say? Yes. Nice, thank you. So guys, sitting down here, absolutely amazing view. 
Never can decide which tea I want, so I have them all. Nice little black tea, nice little Nepali milk tea. or something so good time we're down Whew. so we're back by the lakeside back in Pokhara 20-30 minute walk back I have to tell you surprisingly I'm quite happy that I stay for the gondola right another reason was that I was just a bit too beaten overall from the whole trip but I was like hey let's go there probably it's not gonna be really worth it but just sipping a tea up there again the tea is like what is it like 60 70 cents even though it's like a super tourist attraction so back by the lake and uh yeah if you're new here by any chance on the channel i talk about building a life of freedom around the world this is a i call it nepal little adventure series and uh Kathmandu, pokhara a little bit the mountains that's on the schedule probably will have to come again because i feel like there are so many things that i still haven't seen and yeah Join me on Instagram to see where I am right now and see you in the next one.